came up with a pretty decent analogy yesterday when I was discussing why I don't care so much about the pass mark in schools going up from 30 to 50 percent. And my analogy was this. By the way, this is in reference to Musi Maimani's tweet saying that the pass mark in South African schools should move from 30 percent to 50 percent. And I made a video explaining why I really don't think that should be our focus and our focus should be on the content of the education system. Imagine at the age of 18, at the age of 18, you are put through a three hour, five hour exam on your life, on the 18 years of your life, five hour exam. And in that five hour exam, they ask you things like, do you remember when you were 10 years old and your mom gave you a hiding? What t-shirt you were wearing? Do you remember when you were 12 and you kissed someone for the first time? What dress or what top they were wearing or where you guys were chilling? Someone asks you when you were five years old and you almost burnt yourself on the stove, do you remember what your dad said to you? Now, there's two things to understand here. Number one, the fact that you may not remember all the things of your 18 years of existence does not mean you don't remember the most important aspects of your life and you haven't grown from them. That's number one. Number two, very importantly, is the type of questions you're being asked. Do you remember what happened when you almost put your hand on a stove? How important is that to your real life? That's what happens when you get to your end of year matric exams in grade 12. You have got all these years from grade 1 and even before that grade R preschool crash. All these years are meant to be a, an accumulation of all these exams that you sit for. And then you get asked these questions and you're supposed to remember everything. And when you get asked and you maybe get a question wrong because it's literally black and white. You either get it right or wrong. The methodology doesn't really matter. It's like, well, it shouldn't matter what t-shirt I was wearing. The bottom line is I know that I shouldn't put my hand on a stove. Shouldn't really matter where we were, but I remember the girl or the boy that I kissed for the first time. Not really sure about the age as well, but what's important is I had my first kiss and it changed my life. That is the core of our existence, the important highlights of our life. But we are made to take these tests and exams, which don't really uh, capture if we're really good and equipped to go and become adults in the real world. In this country from the age of 16, you are of the working age. From grade 9, you can actually leave school and go work. It's not child labor when you're 16, 17 and you're working. You're part of the working age population. But we have these tests and exams that don't equip children how to deal with customers, how to sell goods, how to offer a good service, how to take a little bit of pocket money, go and buy a hair clipper and start a hair cutting business. Take a little bit of money or go next door and ask the neighbor to borrow their lawnmower and go around telling people, hi guys, I would like to cut your grass for money. Go on to Facebook, go on to Instagram, go on to TikTok, advertise your business and say, hey, you know, I've got a business and I'd like to sell to you guys. Watch the Soccer World Cup. Look at Kylian Mbappe, look at Lionel Messi, look at Cristiano Ronaldo and go to China City, go to Indian Spaces because those are the guys that generally sell these things. Go and find the soccer jerseys whether they are authentic or replicas. I'm not even going to speak about the legalities and illegalities. That's another conversation. Go and find Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi jerseys. Model them, how to model them, how to take good quality pictures, how to put them on social media and how to market them to your people and say, look, this is how much I'm selling these jerseys for and add a markup. That's real value. And you take that money. And after taking that money, the school system is meant to teach you how to bank how to invest this money so that it grows, how to understand simple interest, compound interest, and how compound interest is good when you're receiving it, and how compound interest is bad when you have to pay it. How to deal with tax, because you've now sold at a profit, there's tax involved. How to deal with tax. Outside of tax, how do you use this money to buy yourself food, to get yourself a place to stay, to buy yourself clothing? How do you over time move from needing to buy food to growing your own food? How do you get land? How do you deal with the seeds and the soil and the fertilizers, etc.? How do you, where do you go to and find textiles so that you can sew your own clothing? Where do you find a sewing machine? At real skills on how to be a functional adult. 18 years of your life, if you were to sit in a five hour exam, do you think you would get 50% on some of the most useless parts of it? Do you think you would get 30%? There's a lot of adults today. I myself am an adult. I'm 36 years old. How many of you today 
busy going around and shouting. No, kids should know at least 50% of their work. I dare you guys to go and sit for matric exams now. Don't go study. Don't go study. We're trying to speak about functional, real education. Go and sit at a matric exams, whether it's maths, whether it's science, whether it's history, whether it's business, economics, geography, biology. Sit for those exams and write them and tell me how much you get out of that. Yeah, but Pin, we didn't get a chance to study. No, it shouldn't be about studying. It should be about the functionality of the content that you're studying and how it affects your real life. You are a working adult. You have children. You earn an income. You pay taxes. You are a real human being living a real life. That's what you want your children to be. So prove to us that where you are as an adult, you can go and get 50%, 70%, 90% for those tests and exams that you claim are so important. The reality is they are not important and you will probably fail them because the reality is those, those exams don't affect your real life today. What affects your real life today is doing your taxes, but you were never taught that. Understanding how the banking system works. You were never taught that. Understanding how the courts and the legal system works. You were never taught that. Understanding politics from the highest level to the lowest levels. You are not taught that. Functional things that affect your real life. Something for you to think about. And I look forward to more of your comments. Um, disagreements as well and some of your suggestions. Because this is such a fundamentally important topic and conversation. Because as individuals, we need to begin pushing against the system. That means going to your child's school, speaking to the teachers, speaking to the other parents, speaking to parents as a whole and saying, how do we ensure that our children are learning functional education and if they're not getting it at school let them go and do the school thing speak to your teachers in the first 30 minutes of the class teach them the syllabus and let's look for shortcuts pass papers etc in the other 30 minutes sit with the governing body sit with the principal sit with the heads of departments in the other 30 minutes can we please ask you if there's no time do it after school can we add another two hours of school so kids are learning real things teach children about tax about voting about the law Make them watch powerful movies that will make them understand family politics, family issues, um, how certain industries work, how certain businesses work. If you really love your child, if you really love your children, you will become an intentional parent and have an intention on raising your child into a functional adult and a functional being in society so that they can win. And they're not sitting with a matric uh, certificate and they're not sitting with a degree or a diploma, but they do not even know how to feed themselves and they end up coming home to a parent that maybe even didn't finish school, who's a taxi driver, who maybe didn't even finish school and is sitting on the road selling fruits and vegetables. Oh, mama, but dice plate, lo Oh, mama, but dice ama Oh, mama, but dice ama queen. That don't know anything about anything. That can't even help their children with homework because they are largely illiterate. But those mothers are making 200 rand, 500 rand a day so that they can feed their families. Those fathers are driving taxis, they're driving buses. They didn't do well at school, they failed. By and large, but here they are making money. <laughs> Outliers like Kaspar Nyovest, multi-millionaire who dropped out of school. We need to rewire our thinking on the type of education we are giving our children, the type of education that we ourselves lack. And we need to, if the school is not giving it to our children, we need to begin giving it to our children ourselves using YouTube, using Wikipedia, using the Khan Academy online, using Coursera, and finding ways to create these WhatsApp groups with parents saying, how can we on weekends teach our children how to sell? How can we on weekends teach our children how to grow vegetable patches? How to plant fruit trees? Teach our children how to drive cars? How to fix and service cars? How to fix cell phones? How to cut and style hair? How to make clothing? Real things that affect real life. Pen you all the black pen.